Did y'all miss me? I know I said I wasn't gonna post this week, but listen, I made it to my destination. I actually made a vlog. Stay tuned because that vlog will be coming out next week. I'm gonna do what I promised and I said I was going to follow Young Easy's journey with her breast surgery. I'm thinking this is post-surgery because it's been a couple weeks. Let's go ahead and react. Are y'all ready? Cause I am. Let's get it. It's about to happen. This is what I'm speaking of. Real shit, real emotion, real life situations. Surgery is scary, but I'm sure these are also happy tears. So let's watch guys. I'm glad she's letting us watch and join her journey. So a lot of people can relate. Okay, I'm liking the filming so far, the editing. I like it. You know for damn sure she couldn't sleep. There's no way. She was probably tossing and turning. Look at her sleepy as hell. <laughs> I'm sure it was hard for her to sleep thinking about it. I like that. I like that she didn't film herself praying. Cause that's, that's a conversation that you have with God and God only. I'm not gonna lie. Right now my nerves are kind of going. The nerves, guys. I'm really nervous. Um, I feel like, you know, I know that everything is gonna go great, but this is a very big deal. It is. Know? Um, so now that she's actually getting ready, the support. I know, right? The support oh. is there. How do you feel? Oh. I don't know. It's like I stayed up, up so uh, late last night, you know, editing the videos we posted. And it was like, I didn't really tell you. Yeah, two videos. Yeah, the two night. videos and like the thumbnail. So it was just like. And I knew also that this video was not gonna post right after. There was no way. When you're in so much pain like that, you don't got time to edit. You, you're not even thinking about that. But I am glad that it's finally out. Three o'clock right now is only three hours from three o'clock. So it was like six something. Or I got up and I six something, so. I'm sure tired. Yeah. yeah. So has I hit you yet or anything? Um, not yet, really. I, I feel like. It feels like I feel emotional, but my body's not, my body's like, it's not real. It hasn't caught up yet. Yeah, like I feel like, oh, like, <laughs> I'm scared, low key, like, you know, but it of hasn't, course. like, like right now, like, I probably look sad. I'm just tired. <laughs> tired. So it's tired. just like, I don't feel good. Well, I feel like yeah. you're being super brave because yeah. I think that the average person would be feeling it right now, you know? So. Yeah. But I just feel like you're, you know, you're definitely a brave woman and such a supportive woman. <laughs> it's gonna definitely pay off. We should head there. Cool. Yeah, like get you ready. So at least you have time to like sit there for a little bit, you know, yeah. don't just hop right into it. I like the nails, I like the nails. Yo, Frank, what up? I was trying to get you to wake up my mom and tell her that I'm about to go to, you know, I'm about to get surgery. I'll, I'll try to call him right now. Gotta get, gotta get the family support, you know? Just call her to say I'm about to get my surgery. I'm not sure they're gonna tell me when I get there. Not long though. Itty bitty titty. Itty bitty titty, come in. I was gonna say, can you wake up mom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Alright, Mom. I'm about to get the surgery. I love you. Alright, love you too. I call you when you get out. By the way, I know this has nothing to do with the video. If my eyes get watery and I'm sniffling a lot, I, my allergies are fucking with me. I apologize. My eyes are itchy. It's just. Oh, it's just like that. Stay confident, girl. For her. Just a little bit, yeah. Positive. Just a little. Y'all yeah. nervous? Y'all nervous? nervous? Girl, you're so tired. Wake I know you're up. Fine. <laughs> Wake up. You about to you about to get your boobs done. Man. I have never had surgery before. Except for when I was younger on my finger when I smashed it in the door. Oh. oh. We had to have surgery. Had to have surgery. Yeah. Oh, damn. It was that bad? Dang. I never had a broken bone, never had surgery, none of it. So I've been blessed. <laughs> Facing the boobies, you know what I'm saying? That's some good comfort pillows right there. You're fine. You're like a pregnant woman. Just like a lot of pregnant women, when they know they're gonna take pictures, they try to put their makeup on, get their hair done. But when it starts, to, but when the labor hits, all of it goes out the window. It doesn't even matter anymore. Yeah, I ain't trying to see that. <laughs> All right, it's about to happen. I'm about to get the surgery. I'm about to go in there. Um, I just pray that everything goes good. I just all I keep thinking about is prayers, 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 prayers. So y'all keep praying for me. Um, about to, oh snap! There he is right now. The doc. I'm just about to put the camera down. Doc, you ready? I'm ready. Are you um, ready? Yeah. There goes the doctor. Here we go. So just a little bit of an update. Um, DC has been in the operation room for about 30 minutes now. Uh -huh. um, I'm sitting outside because I just really wanted to come out and be able to journal, which I just did. Just journal cool, and cool. Um, meditated. Is that her book, her by the way? Is that her journal? Energy that she needs, the protective energy. I pray that the outcome will be exactly what she desires. And that she is in a peaceful slumber as she gets her surgery. I think for me, it's more so about the mental health. When she finally gets what she's been wanting, she's gonna be a happy person. Um, and then she'll have Overall. a speedy recovery. So guys, drop some prayers below and send her the positive energy that she needs right now. I'm just ready to see her. Uh oh. How long was the surgery for, I wonder? There's always an estimated time for surgery. It doesn't really go exactly as planned, though. She called me like 30 minutes ago and told me that she was out of surgery, everything went good, and that she's ready to go. So I'm just good, good. Now. I'm so nervous, DC. I'm not gonna lie. I'm so I nervous. am too, girl. My leg is shaking. I don't know how she's gonna be acting. I'm getting a little antsy. This is the last take. This is the last boot. Let's look at it one more time. This is the last ones. 
And that's okay. with a sports bra, okay? You, easy, future easy. You're looking at yourself and you're like, whoa, those boobs used to be big. They used to be big, <laughs> huh? Look at them now. Look at you. Look at yourself. Look, look at them now. Look back. Look down. Look up. Look like, damn, those are big. Now look. Look. No, no. You look right now. Future you. No, present you. But this is, I'm your past. Yeah. Hey, little itty bitty titty committee. Hey, girl. I'm over here, you know? I'm stuck in the past. Double D's. You know? D's over here. They <laughs> no longer. Them titties is gone. They gotta go. All right, girl, let me see them. them. Double D's. Come on. It's not gonna be on your knees anymore. We not get it. Touching your knees. <laughs> I can't believe it. Wow. Wow. I really like her nails, though. Easy was in the operating room for three hours. I'm assuming no complications. Oh, there she goes, there she goes. Oh, she's crying. You okay? It's okay. Oh. Baby, it's emotional. It's so emotional. It's so so emotional. You did so good. Hi, honey. Oh. Um, <laughs> She's a little emotional. Feeling a little scared and stuff. You're okay. Do you need me to help you? Oh my god, they already look small, no lie. By the way, during the healing process, it does swell up a little bit at first, and then it once it, once the swelling goes away, they'll go to its place like where it's supposed to be. You did it, easy. You did it, girl. You did it. Oh, it's some raw shit right here. It's the raw shit right here. You can see the human in her, you know? We decided to cut the camera due to Easy being overwhelmed with emotions and anxiety. Facts. As you should. Not everything needs to be filmed. It took about two weeks of recovering before Easy was able to do things on her own. It's a long healing process, so. Three week post op. Here we go. Let me see. Let me I'm see. Back. Let me see, bitch. Yo, I said, um, <laughs> bitch. She's still shaking that ass. Um, <laughs> she don't need surgery for that. All right, let me stop. Cause last time I did that, it was bad. I miss you so much. Where have you been? No, it's more like where have I been? Y'all, what's up? Y'all ready for the update or Yes, girl. Right, sit you know, your ass down. Just give me a little time. These things are swollen. Okay, okay, calm down. Calm oh, they're down. still swollen? I'm coming. I'm coming. I ain't even waiting. I'm coming. Let me see. What's up, everybody? Wow, that's just crazy. Yo, what the Look to the fuck? side. Yo! The last time you see me in this room, it was like, whoa, 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 whoa. My brother. Yo, let me tell you something. When someone who has big breasts like that lose weight, you can't really tell because of the big breast. You see how thinner she looks due to the breast surgery? Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, can you tell? Yo, look at, look at, it's like boom. You're like me now, yeah. girl. Now I gotta lose the belly, y'all. You're like me now, like, girl. I'm, it's a long story, look. but guys, I'm <laughs> back and I'm better. It's been three weeks since my operation and I am feeling so good. You know, if you've been keeping up with me, I've been posting here and there of stuff on my Instagram story. So go follow me on Instagram if you're not. I went to like Crazy. two events. I went to the Erica Badu event and then I went to, I went okay. out because it was Chris's birthday. Mm. Uh, but, you know, I'm back and I'm here to tell you guys about my experience and show you these bitties. Went from double days to itty bitty titties. Yeah. What size Daddy's though? Back. So I just want to say first and foremost, even though to me and I know to you guys, they look like a world of a difference. Guys, they are swollen as fuck. Okay. So, so they're so fucking swollen. swollen. I can barely put mm -hmm. my arms down. Okay. I was going to say three weeks and the swelling went down that fast. Okay, so they're actually gonna be smaller than this then. I first came out of the recovery room. Damn, what size? They were like almost non-existent. Okay, and I've seen this process with my mom. Like when she first got her breast surgery, it was a world of a difference. But once the swelling went down, it was like, I'm 
Where they go? So Where they go? That's what's going on right now, guys. My boobs are so swollen still. Okay, and I can't give you guys a cup size. I really don't know. I just know that I had double D's, and we're gonna do the before and after. Like, wait, what you mean you don't know? My, I'm pretty sure you came up with a size that you wanted. Can you at least let us know that? Look at this. Look at this. I honestly hope she went to a C. Because I think a B is too small for her. I'm a 34A, but I think I'm wearing the wrong size bra. I think I might be a B. Look at this. This is crazy. Crazy, <laughs> okay? So, just to sum up the process and what I went through, um, I was going to take you guys with me throughout this journey, but I did not expect to have so much anxiety. I didn't, and I didn't know I was going to have an anxiety attack. I didn't know that it would feel so traumatic and emotional afterwards, okay? Um, I didn't expect that at all. It literally threw me for a loop and, you know, my... I'm honestly surprised that the doctor did not warn you about that because the whole mental part of it all is a big part of the process. So they should have told you about yeah, it. My mother was there. You about know, what to expect. Home. My family is super supportive. My mother, my brother, everybody. But in that process and in that moment, I am so glad that Natalie was there because... It, I couldn't even do anything by myself. I couldn't pee. I couldn't shower. I couldn't do anything by myself without like her. Um, I couldn't shower for like two days and she had to help me shower. I almost passed out in the shower uh, because the temperature was too hot and my open wounds and everything like Oof. that. Um, I literally almost fainted like twice and she sat me down Scary. and had to cool me off like it was so much that I went through that I did not know I was going to go through, okay? And I'm saying all this to say, I just, because I didn't document any of it. I'm like, I don't want... And imagine Natalie's process with it, too. Because she was going through it herself, so she's got her own emotions that she went through as well. Cameras, this is my moment. Like, I'm not doing this for anybody else but me, and right now, I want to live in that. You know what I'm saying? So, X. that was my Good. entire experience. Um for about two weeks and after that I was moving and grooving. I was moving and grooving, you know what I'm saying? And it, it was tough. Um, I think it's because mentally it was traumatic and physically it was like so hard on my body. And mm -hmm. now I have to, I can't even, I still can't even work out and I feel I can't carry certain things. Natalie has just been there for me doing pretty much everything, you know what I'm saying? But now I'm out, if y'all seen on my story, I've been moving and grooving, okay? But I can't do too much, I already, my boobs, They've been leaking. Okay, so let me give you the back story. I went into <laughs> surgery. All the last thing you guys seen was me crying, and right after that, I, I know I'm not. I know I'm not talking too much through this video because I'm really trying to listen to what she's gone through. You could not stop crying. It's important to hear this out. Down. I was shaking so bad, and they were like, um, you know, try to get her some food, and they were just like, it's okay, calming me down. So the first thing I ate was some banana bread, and that was the only thing that Natalie and her mom had at the time, and I ate it. And then my mouth swelled up, like my tonsils, like, you know, that dangly thing back there. Um, it <laughs> swelled up, swelled up, and I could not, I thought I couldn't breathe out my mouth, and it was already hard for me to breathe out my nose because my face was so swollen, and it was just tough. So we rushed back back to the hospital because we were like yo what's going on because like it was so swollen like i could lift my tongue up and then i'm like look and i was uh. showing them and they're like it's normal you know usually when you eat try to just drink like a smoothie or something you know and then as soon as i drank a smoothie the swollen went down and it was fine but right after that i started having another anxiety attack once i got the smoothie and it was just really emotional for me you know what i'm saying and but i just want to let you guys know what my experience was you know um so my emotions were like so heightened for about those two weeks. But I do want to say the experience was incredible. And I'm yes. so happy with my results. I can't even, I can't wait till the swelling. Now you have a story to tell as well. And you can also relate to other people with this story. So. Even more. That's awesome. I know that I gained weight during this mm. process because all I've been doing was, you know, being in the bed. Girl, and, and you still look good. <laughs> And you know what I'm saying? And I was literally on a journey of losing weight and the type of body that I have, it's like, I'm not one of those people that can just, all right, you sit around and if you don't work out or whatever, you lose weight. I know a lot of people like that. My body is the type, if you don't work your ass off, you're going to gain Damn. weight on top of you eating and stuff. Like I don't that. have that so problem. I can eat whatever I want weight, um, <laughs> and still don't weeks. gain. Not a lot, but I gained some weight during the three weeks, which is really annoying because when I first see my results, when my... Like, uh, when I finally was able to put a button-up t-shirt on, like, I was way more slim. You know, and I'm going to show you guys that footage. Either way, I am so fucking happy. 
I am so fucking You happy. look it, girl. The doctor was telling me that it's a, it's normal for women um, to be emotional after a surgery, especially because oh, okay. we are hormonal. So they did warn you. Yeah. It, I was going to say. The anesthesia. So it was just like, okay, that's understandable. But shout out to Dr. Williams. Shout out to 305 Surgery. Thank you guys for making my dream come true. I can't wait to show you guys my results once the swelling goes down completely. The scarring that I have is like around my areolas and right. then like an anchor, right. it goes down down and then right under my breast that's the scarring that i do have was it painful when i was un under um no i do recall being there but i was it felt like i was there for only 30 minutes when my surgery was three hours you know what i'm saying then when i woke up i was in pain but it was more scary i was traumatized you know if you guys have any more questions drop them down below i'm talking a lot i just want to let you guys know i'm back me and natalie were posting a video so i know you guys been waiting for easy x natalie to post um i'm back i feel like just rejuvenated i feel creatively inclined but wait shout out <laughs> to everybody all my family members that checked on me text me dm me every single supporter that has checked on me thank you guys so much for really checking on me i really appreciate all the love i've seen all the love i like that thank necklace you, thank you from the bottom of what my kind of crystal is that um and shout out look at this look at this car Aww. Get well soon, easy. Thank you guys so much. That's, that's really cute. That's cute. Keep being great, easy. We love you. Dang, so that reminds me. A few of my supporters wanted me to, wanted me to get a PO box because they want to send me some stuff. Listen, I don't need anything, but I'm down for like letters, uh, artwork, pictures, whatever y'all want to send me, I guess. But I had to go to the post office and see if I can, if I can get one. And when I do, I'll let y'all know the information. On the cards, my supporter sent me. It says, "Get well soon, bitch." You already know that bounce bitch. back. Okay. About to be me. And I Shout said, to Alexis. Uh, Snoo says, "Get well soon." A sincere says, "Get well soon." Welcome to the itty bitty titty committee. <laughs> Snoop also says, "Smaller boobs make them fool." Yes, sir. Speedy recovery in the works. Love you, G. That's freaking amazing. Thank you guys so much, and everybody else. Um, if I forgot anything, leave it down below. My next video, I'll be addressing more stuff. All I'll right. Get you guys on Twitter. I'll um, be joining. If you want, you guys don't have my number. I'm back. Video again. Here are the. Here's the difference. It's a world of difference. Like I'm back. Love you guys. Like and subscribe, please. Follow me on every social media platform, and thank you guys for keeping up with this journey. I love you guys. Thank you. All right, girl. Well, thank you for letting us join this whole journey. All right, you guys, tell me what you thought about this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.